Let's just talk a little bit about those updates on the FTSC changes and connect with Sharad, who has all the details and the stocks that will be in focus on the rejig. Sharad? Well, yes, the focus is on the FTSE changes itself. This is for the month of September and the adjustment date is 16th September. Now, one of the important stocks is seeing a strong amount of dollar inflow is almost $7.4 inflow is Aptus Valley Housing. And if you see the average daily volumes of seven days, it's expected to come in at almost more than seven times. Now, apart from this, Linde India would be also in focus. Almost $14.8 million of inflow is expected while the newly listed MetPlus Health is expected to raise in almost $3.3 million itself. Galaxy Suffolk's uh, news, almost $4.2 million of inflow is expected, while CG Power, if you see, the stock has also gained almost more than from almost 20% from its 180 lows, and the almost $33.8 million of a large dollar inflow is expected. And from the capital goods space, we have Schaffler India with almost $24.4 million itself. And lastly, Gujarat Fluoro is also expected to come in at almost $25 million of inflow. All right, that's FTSC changes. My limited point is that there was a time when we were, markets would track the FTSC changes with a magnifying glass or, you know, it was everything which has got to do with flows and MSCI rejig, it mattered. But when FIs are not the only driving factor and Indian markets are no longer, if I may use the word, a one-trick pony, I think the FTSC changes are important. Market will notice them. But I doubt that market reaction is going to be very large. But I'll tell you what 